Woo, you too, you already know we got a banger today. I'm gonna show y'all how to do a design with a mid drop fade on this little kid. Alright, let's get it. Say anything. Make sure you subscribe. Alright, y'all. Every every haircut you do, alright? Make sure you prep the hair by combing it out or brushing it down. Whatever you gotta do. First thing you're gonna do is start this initial guideline. Okay, starting from the bottom of the C cup, um, going above the ear, and then you're dropping it down in the back. As I can see, this kid has beautiful beautiful hair okay like my, my guy my guy andre he got some great hair okay so um we're gonna, we're gonna have to take our time with this and then just be real surgical with it and try to get it as blurry as possible now we got the lever open going up about a half inch um you want to make sure you be real consistent with this hair texture when we get to the back, we're going to make it a little bit wider than the sides just because the back is always a little darker. Okay? But yeah, but you want to be real careful with this type of hair texture because if you, like, like make the guy line a little, a tad bit bigger or just cut too much hair off, it ain't no going back. Like, there's no way to fix it on this texture. So, you really got to take your time. Another half inch going up with the one guy open. Just going over the guy line over and over again just to make sure the guy line is really in there. My client, my client here, Andre, he wanted to, he wanted my, uh, my favorite clients, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, my, I, I feel like my best clients are always going to be kids that, you know, stay still because kids here are just naturally always like naturally healthier than, um, people here that's developed all the way. So now we got this two guard open, and then after we clean up all of the sides, we're gonna use the two guard close and only use it on that bottom line part. It might look like I'm going up all the way to the top, but I'm not. I'm just using that on that line. Now we got the one guard open, just flicking at that top line. Make sure you use your corners only. When you have a, a really straight hair texture like this, it's gonna take a long time to get it out without raising the fade. So. Just take your time and be real careful with this because if you go too high, um, it's gonna raise the whole fade and you're gonna have to start, basically start all the way over. You don't wanna do that. So use your corners, take your time and, and be patient. Yeah, see, I'm trying to part the hair a little bit just to, like, clean up the parting. Um, his mom, his mom is real comfortable with the way I cut his hair, so she don't really have any problems with what I do on his head, as long as, long as he happy. Um, you go use the zero guard clothes using your corners. Again, you do not want to go too high on this hair texture, okay? You, that's, I'm, that, you cannot stress, I cannot stress it enough. Do not go too high on this hair texture. You just want to get that line out. If the line go up, you adjust the lever and um, make sure you use your corners throughout this whole process. As you can see, this blend is coming real together. It's really coming together good and well. Now we got this lever closed, okay? Again, just take your time and make sure you, and make sure you just take your time and click at that bottom line. Just get it out. Be patient. Don't go too high. If you go high, just raise it. Just raise your. Open your lever up, and you know what I'm saying. Just get that blend blurry, real blurry. It's on a hair texture like this. It's harder and easier at the same time to get um, a blurry blend because the process might take a little bit longer, which will make it harder. But the ending result is going to be like crazy if you take your time and do it right. So now we're just gonna do some detail work. We're gonna get this fade together. As you can see, the fade is clean as it is, but you always wanna be able to take your, your haircut to another level. So 
Just always, always detail after the fade is done. And now you see me taking out my thinning shears. Just because I didn't want to go all the way up there with the guard. I'm just going to clean it up and lighten it up at the top. Now it's time for the lineup part. Um, His ponytail is a little bit like... I wanted to clean up the parting a little bit from the um, lineup part to connect to the rest of his head i wanted to see like a full circle like the parting i wanted to be a full circle so i did try to fix a little bit of that without taking the whole ponytail out so i did what i could in the moment but you're just going to cut the edge up down to a one guard open and then you're going to close the lever and just on the tips only the tips only you're going to cut that down the one guard closed now we're going to use the hairspray just get it locked in and brush it down then we're going to spray it on again, blow dry it, and then we're just going to start finessing the lineup with the Babyliss Gold Effects Trimmers. Um, yeah, another thing is, um, when you guys are cutting kids, Try your hardest not to push them back, okay? Because when they're kids, their edge up are, it's like, it's still in the developing stage. So like, if you push them back at an early age, when they get older, they're gonna have a huge forehead, okay? You do not want that. So you wanna keep the hairline as natural as possible. And uh, yeah, just if you gotta you know enhance what's there, then do that. Don't try to push it back to where it's the dark spots. No matter what kind of hair texture you got, even if his hairline is like super, super light. I mean, this is doing right. kind of a haircut in itself. So people want, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the, the though, shape right. and, and the style that we're cutting right now. Just line that up as if, as if it was thick. Because when he get older, yeah, so when he get older, his hairline is going to be thicker because you kept it up instead of pushing it back. So now y'all see he went this design. It's actually my design that I did on one of my um, female clients. This is actually the same kind that I cut in my last video, so yeah, it's, it's a different design I did on her when I was in the shop. But he wanted that cut. Um, again, with the designs, you just want to do a rough jab first. Just put it in using your corners only, and then you're going to refine it after. Now we got the razor. We just we just sticking in that line out, being real surgical with it. Don't try, don't make the design too, too thick. Um, it's going to look like nobody, I, I don't even know what it's going to look like. It, people just don't want the two wide designs, okay? That's that's a nasty look. So yeah, just define it, um, get them lines clean as possible. And yeah, I feel like this design was real dope, especially with his hair texture. It just made it pop. Like, it made it pop a lot. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. I just know this, this design came out dope. Now we're gonna use the these videos that are old. I, I use the bean team compressor now, but I had this is the compressor I got from um, Amazon. So we're just using that Sean Cuts here, um, enhancement card. We're using that. Now we're gonna use the pencil, just applying it to the line. And uh, we're going to enhance this cut and get it clean. The cut was already clean without the enhancements. you already seen it. I've seen the whole process, okay? But yeah, we're just going to take this cut to another level. Just because I know how confident this kid is in his hair. And how what, what look his, his mom is really going for. So we're just going to get him as clean as possible. And we're going to take care of him. Bruh. <laughs> That's you. You can do a goofing around. Okay, so like I said, um, this is a kid, but he really loves his haircut. So after you apply that pencil, just use the razor, clean it up. After you use it in the whole head, you're just going to dust it off and go again with the razor and just get it as clean as possible. You want to, you want to be, uh, you do not want to be a lazy barber, okay? Because especially when, you're, when you got parents that take, that bring their kids to you, you do not want to be a lazy barber. You want to be 
um, consistent with your haircut. So if you do a dope cut the first time, you gotta try to give a better cut the next time every time. You wanna see the cut, bro? Yeah, Got a nice little, uh, I say it is. Yeah, you got a nice little. Ooh, your design is well. I'm gonna show you on the. Uh, I'm scared. You ready? Yeah. Are you scared? Because it's so cool. That's her favorite line. Fucking good. So favorite line. Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> Every time. There it is. You start to see it coming to life, little by little. All right, so we took that half. Uh, you got me scared in the dark, can't you? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'll be in the dark all the time in my room. So that bottom line is eventually gone. Mommy. You do. On the phone. Yeah, guys, on the phone. I, I did vlog the Well, sometimes you're on the TV. Very, very short. I didn't get to go over all the days. The guys at 245 held it down. Um, I got to do a bit part of a panel. Oh. This is the design part coming up. Oh! Oh my god! 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 Oh all right, y'all. This is before. Y'all see how we loved it. Y'all seen this cut came on dope. All right. So you, this is before. Now the after is finna come in a couple seconds. All right, y'all. This is the after. The design is clean. The lineup is clean. Okay. My guy Andre, I appreciate you for coming in. Um, like I said, it's one of my favorite clients, so I took my time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if y'all like the cut, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Alright, please share this video so other people can see it. It's your boy, Baby KK. I'm out. How you like the cut, Mom? You love it? Every time. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, we out. You wanna say we out? We out.